Hello, everybody, and welcome to Two Girls, One Book. We're, We're finally here for our second installment. <laughs> well, let's just talk about this. We had another book picked. We were going to do Diet Land, and then Life and Death came out, and that put a whole stop on Diet Land. We pumped the brakes, and we were like, this book was written for us. It was definitely written for us, because we're not fans of Twilight. Let's just... I think that's how we initially became friends. It is in a file room talking about how much we love Stephen King and hate Twilight. Yep. Yep. We had a stepbrothers moment right then and there. <laughs> Do we just become best friends? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but so we had to put a pause on Diet Land and I did a stupid one star review on it for the website, which basically talked about how much I hated the book. And I'm Check it out. Sure. It's great. Great, oh, great, great. Thank you. But it's true. We hated it, but not as much as Life and Death. No. Oh. <sighs> I don't even have anything to say. I'm this just like, first. I know I'm, I'm speechless. Why don't you tell us where it falls in the storyline? If it does. Well, it is almost verbatim twilight, but I would say that Stephanie Myers very skillfully changed some pronouns around oh. and came up with names that were essentially the same, but in, the form of the opposite sex. And she concluded it in a way um, that was different from Twilight, but we can rest assured that there won't be any more. We're thankful for that. Thank you, <laughs> Stephanie. If there's anything from this that you get, we are very happy that you will not be writing any more of Life and Death. <laughs> I'm having like PTSD just thinking I know. about it. I mean, so first we had Twilight, and we read Twilight again for you guys as well. So let's just. How many hours, Bestie? How many um, hours did we listen to? 26 and a half hours. We did this for you guys. Just we for you for guys. You. And we're going to condense it into like 25 minutes. So don't waste your time is our first topic point. Don't do it. It's not necessary at all. It's the same thing. It's the same exact thing. So what Stephanie Meyer wanted to do is she wanted to take Twilight and make it so you could say a man could be Bella or both yeah. heard both well apparently she she claims in an interview that people are constantly telling her that you know this couldn't be th that um or criticizing bella right that she's too into her relationship and she's insecure and she's constantly being rescued and apparently stephanie meyer said this would be the same if it were a boy and she tried to prove that but she didn't <laughs> No, because there are about 7,000 scenes in that whole entire book that prove it's wrong. Mm -hmm. And she wrote them. Like, like the prime, this is the stupidest example, but this one bugs me. Whenever he, Beaufort, who is now Bella, and yes. Edith, that is yes. now Edward. With a, y. with a Y. Come on, Stephanie, pick some <laughs> normal names. Which, let me say, the names were, were dumb. Like, they were weird. Like, Rebel. Nobody names their kids Rebel. No. Well, and it, it felt so Forced. contrived. Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. We get, I, we get what you're doing. We get it. Stop. Exactly. I kind of enjoyed in the first one how it was names like, there were older names, like Edward is not a name you see very often. Now you do, but you didn't. Mm -hmm. you know, Carlisle, things like that that are older names that represented how old the vampires were. Rebel doesn't do that for me. No. No. Wasn't there like a weird J name? Like, I don't know. And Something. it was just like Eleanor and like that was fine, but yeah, Edith with a Y. I don't know. That's not not really possible for somebody who's almost two hundred years old. Whatever. So you have Ed you have Edith and Beaufort walking down the hallway at school, and Beaufort goes, "Could I carry your backpack?" Because you know she's a vampire, and that's what she wants you to do for her is carry her luggage around. <laughs> Bella never asked. To carry Edward's stuff. If you're trying to prove that this story could happen both ways, then actually make it happen and actually put Beaufort in those situations that Bella was in. Have Edith offer to do that. Is that wrong? Can a girl carry a guy's backpack? Yeah. I don't see anything wrong with that. In fact, I probably would have liked that better because you actually were switching gender roles then. Yeah. Well, and I, I read an article about this book talking about how... Um, she changes the genders, but she also changes... Bo doesn't act like Bella. Like, he's not submissive 
he's not self-conscious. He's pretty confident in who he is and like that's not doing anything for this what what she's trying to prove. Exactly. Like it kind of proves the opposite. <laughs> it, the problems that Bella has in the first book, I don't think a guy could ever have. No offense to the guys out there. I'm not saying that you can't have the exact same problems. And if you want to walk around like you're on your period every day of the week, that's fine. Please do. But he didn't do that. No. No. He didn't. Oh, can we talk about Charlie? Please do. Go ahead. Why? They change. Okay. There is a point where they're doing the blood thing in class, which reading this book again, why were they allowed to test their blood in class? I feel like there's a lot of parents that would not be cool with them, like <laughs> pricking blood or whatever they were doing. Yeah, I would not want my kid to do that. So. No. But anyway, so in Life and Death, you know, Bo does this and faints or whatever and goes to the nurse. They change the nurse to a guy. They change everybody's sex except for the parents. Except for Charlie. I don't I don't know why. I mean, maybe because Charlie was... I mean, I would argue Charlie is probably the only good character in Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> He's the coolest. And they, what bothered me is, okay, I, if you don't want to change Charlie, that's fine. But why did you change Jacob's dad? Then? Yeah, y right. There's no consistency. Like, I don't know why they did that. Either change everybody or only change Edward and Bella, which you could have just did that and left it. Like, I know we talked about this and, you know, we said that they changed it, their friends around too. Well, they didn't need mm -hmm. to do that. She could have just made them friends with the other people. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't, I get what she was trying to do, but I don't get how she failed so miserably at it. I don't understand why Bo didn't go shopping for a prom dress. I'm very hurt. By that, I wanted that scene. I did too. I really did. And I think she'd like flip, switch these roles, but speaking of the prom dress scene that doesn't exist, whenever he's walking around and he meets the bad vampires that for, or bad people that want to kill him for some whatever reason they want to kill him for, the random people, in the first book, in Twilight, they wanted to basically rape Bella. And this one, they just wanted to shoot Bo because he saw them nothing not that's not yeah, the same i didn't even think of that yeah why and like i don't want to like you know piss off feminists or whatever but like it just doesn't i don't know it just didn't work for me like her coming to rescue him from the in her car like i just her, you know when the car was coming the entire time yeah 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 like it just didn't i mean i guess it's pos i don't know it just really felt it didn't, it felt really, like you said, it felt forced. Yeah, it was just like, let's just tell the story again and kind of fix, some weird, make some things weird. And I don't know. I don't like how they did Alice, Alice's character as a man. I thought it was no. bad, 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 bad. I actually liked Alice's character in Twilight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A neat yeah. character. Interesting idea. I didn't like Carlisle switched either at all that was the worst decision they ever made yeah i that was that was bad <laughs> that was just bad <laughs> most of their decisions in switching the genders was bad i just think they could have just switched edward and bella and been fine and it would have mm -hmm. made a lot more sense than switching everybody because it got so convoluted because in the back of your mind you're going wait who is that supposed to be mm -hmm. who is that so, so that was mike but mike's no longer mike anymore but it's still this girl that's trying to flirt with Bo in a really weird way. I, When I first heard that this was happening, my thought was that they were going to make it still be Bella and Edward, but make Bella a, the vampire from the start. Well, that would have been better. And I like that actually sounded like, okay, like I'd be curious to see what they did with that because they're essentially the same characters. I like that idea. Yeah. They should do that. Just switch their roles completely. Yeah, yeah. Just that—that that would have been interesting. But like, <sighs> Bo. I don't like I the name either. Name was Bo. I was just like this is, this is not going to be good. <laughs> I mean, I, I, knew that, I knew that. I knew I knew it long before, but. <laughs> mm. This the what? whole book just. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. You go. No, I was going to talk about the ending a little bit. But. Do it. I was going to. I was going to switch gears. I do that. Oh, you're going to switch gears? No, I'm mm -hmm. scared. Mm -hmm. 
So the whole book kind of, you know, follows along the same general path, except I guess before the ending, the whole Jacob thing, who's not Jacob anymore. I forget how the girl's name is. Jess. Was it Jess? Who's the new Jacob? Taaki. <laughs> Taaki. Yes, it's Taaki. So whoever they switched Jacob with was bad. It was so badly done. They made the girl like 14. Mm -hmm. They didn't give any sort of like tension at all, which they started to do in Twilight. Because when I re-listened to it, I was like, oh, they started that tension a little early. I never noticed it before. Mm -hmm. They just made this flat little little girl. Like she was like 14 years old. And all I could see was, this is really creepy that this little girl wants to be with Beaufort, who's very tall and lanky and weird looking and maybe 17. I don't remember the age, but it made it creep factor for me. Well, and a lot of it was creep factor. Like, and I don't know what that, I mean, I don't know if that's like societal conditioning, but like, you know, when you think of Edward as this like 200 year old being, being with a high school girl, it's creepy. When you think of like the <laughs> vampire lady, like as a woman being that old, like what she wanted with his little boy is what I'm thinking. Like, you know, <laughs> she's cougar. the ultimate cougar. That's what they should have called. <laughs> They should have called this book the ultimate cougar. A guy Even delight. Ultimate cougar. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. What is she? They didn't explain the motives very well. Like, because I guess in Twilight you get the motives. He's creepy and sparkles and mm -hmm. is endearing on Bella. She's endearing to him. What I never got what Bo was to Edith at all. Yeah, I didn't either. It d just didn't. And you know, I don't like Twilight, but. Edward and Bella, like, you know, okay, their thing. I see it. It works. This just didn't work. It didn't work. This was on Christian Grey Anna level. <sighs> if we can make this worse, you know, no, bring up, <laughs> gotta bring up Christian Grey. <laughs> this is basically like fan fiction of fan fiction of fan fiction. It's very postmodern. It is. <laughs> So much fan fiction going on right now. Ugh. I, right. I was um kind of thinking about the covers, if there's something going on there, because the original book, it's like the girl like with her two hands out holding the red apple, mm -hmm. like, and the new one it's like a guy obviously like you know with one hand like holding a green apple, and I you know. I didn't have time to investigate this at all. It just crossed my mind and <laughs> I wondered about it. But <laughs> is there a color thing going on? What's the two hands versus one? Like and green apples are sour. Uh, and really this book goes south where Twilight stays a love story. I feel that life and death becomes a a life and death story, like mm -hmm. an, an ending where Twilight continues. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. There should have been a worm coming out of that apple. Well, I get it for the original, like the, you know, loss of innocence and, you know, the whole Adam and Eve thing, but. Why keep the apple again just to make a contrast? Because this isn't really a loss of innocence. I never got that he was an innocent. No. 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 He didn't even seem very naive to me. Like, I mean, maybe it's society, and we don't think that 16-year-old boys are innocent at all. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that's... <laughs> maybe start him at 12, and we would have had a better belief of this, but he was 16. He is not innocent. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Like, the, this cultural kind of double standard of, like, the virginal, like, 16-year-old girl, and maybe that's why we're having such a hard time with this, like... I, I kept seeing him as like in his 20s. Like how they described him. I was like, oh, it's like some 20 year old geeky dude who plays video games all day. That's what I got from it. <laughs> Nothing's wrong with that at all. <laughs> Trust me. I didn't get this like untapped fruit that I got from Bella. Untapped fruit. Yes. Well said. <laughs> See, and she was a sweet fruit. So she was a red apple and he's a sour apple because he's just lame and weird. Well, maybe that's it too. Like with like the two hands, she's like holding it, like she's valuing it, like 
she knows what's at stake and he's just kind of like thrusting this apple at you like here you go i don't care <laughs> take, take my, my apple, my apple. <laughs> <laughs> it's yours edith <laughs> Like she's like offering it like here. Mm-hmm. Yes. And that's like a depiction of Adam and Eve because there's this, there's always this pictures of her giving him the apple. So she's the one not to be too. trusted. Well, and she's the one who mm-hmm. brings down mankind essentially. And the man just has, you know, I took your apple. It's already tainted. Oh, it's already a tainted apple. Maybe he was, it's like a, a, a symbolism. So Bella gives Edward, you know, she gives the apple. She taints him in a way. Because he changes himself and changes who he is. And eventually, eventually, like with the red ribbon, it shows that she is untied for Breaking Dawn. That's a good point. I didn't even think about the other book covers in relation to this. And then for him, it is, well, he already has this. You know, he accepts the tainted fruit. It's already been tainted and he accepts it. And that's why he meets his demise in a certain way. Then she does it because she doesn't accept the fact of being a vampire. Even though she says she does, she doesn't. That idea scares her, and you know that by the end of the book. Or mm-hmm. he's just like, can you bite me? Well, she kind of wants it too, though. She does, but I don't believe she does. Because like in the second book, I didn't think she did. You know, it doesn't sound like we're talking about becoming a vampire at all. No. No, it doesn't. <laughs> we actually are talking about becoming a vampire, not... But they're kind of intertwined in the Twilight universe. They are, because they did have a sex scene in Breaking Dawn. But, like, she, all of these things kind of come upon her at once. Right. Like, her sexual awakening and her becoming a vampire, and, like, it's all tied together. Like, the the piercing with the teeth. I mean, it's very, like... It's all explicit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it happens after they're married. Well, of course. But this th- is th- a Christian she, Grey. Right, and that's, no, that's what I'm saying. That she's, like, a, she wrote, she's a Mormon, isn't she? Stephanie Meyer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's funny though that for the man, he didn't have to be married to have the piercing to have the. That's really interesting. He becomes yeah. So she's really doing the opposite of what she set out to do. Yes, yes, because she said she wanted to make it the same, but really, shouldn't the man? Shouldn't they have been married before he was made a vampire? Not with that tainted green apple. <laughs> and we're probably reading way too much into this. But this is what happens when you listen to 26 uh, hours of dribble. Dribble. A lot, a lot of the dialogue was the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it was just like Grey. It was. It was. She's just like, it was a desperate attempt to further milk the Twilight cash cow. Right what host, was. dude. For heaven's sake, go back to the host. You did so much better in the host. I never read that. It's like 10 million times better. And actually related with a character. It was shocking. 10 million? That's a lot times better. I mean, that brings up to probably, I don't know, a three-star level, if it's 10 million times better. This was not... Yeah. That, that's a lot of time to listen to anything. It is. It is. <laughs> So, to the ending, which we already ruined, Bo becomes a vampire. And the killer part for me is that not only did Bo become a vampire, but Edith was not strong enough to actually literally quote the book, you're not strong enough to not to not kill him. Is what she was told by Archie. Haha, <laughs> I remembered the name. Archie. Archie. I... If you wanted to make a comparison, that was the wrong way to do it. Because basically you just said that Edith, as a woman, was not able to not Do it kill Edward her. as a man could. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That seemed like a big old slap in the face for what you were trying to accomplish. Again, not feminist, not trying to take a feminist look at this, but uh, you messed that up. Bad. I didn't even think of that. But you're right. That's... Uh, uh. I just want to make loud noises. Like, I don't even have any words left. You're not strong enough, Edith. You're going to kill him. I'm not strong enough to discuss this anymore. <laughs> if I were a man, I could. <laughs> if I were a man, I could totally talk about this conversation. <laughs> if I'm I were a man vampire. <laughs> I, I'm not able to. I just think that if you like Twilight, I guess read it. If you didn't like Twilight, like a normal person, don't read it because... What are Twilight fans thinking of this? Do you, does, have you read anything on their reception? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scared of them. 
Well, yeah, they're, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. I stay away. They were very, very excited. Mm -hmm. Very, very excited. But I guess what they actually wanted, and I didn't know this was even a possibility, they wanted the book written from Edward's perspective. Apparently, oh. she started that and it was leaked. I heard that. I heard that. And then she heard what they were doing with Gray and she dropped it. Right. Which those two just need to kiss and make up. Like, I'd be pretty down. pissed. If Both I write wrote shitty books. If I wrote, you know, the greatest love story of our era and then <laughs> had it ripped off. <laughs> Instead of reading Twilight in school, please read Romeo and Juliet. For the love of God. Just read an actual, actual book. I hope we don't see this in our lifetimes. I feel like we probably will. <laughs> oh, no, we're going to. I'm sure when, uh -huh. when our daughters are in school, they're going to come home and be like, Mom, we're reading this book and it's awesome and it's called Twilight and I'm going to burn it. And I yeah, don't believe in burning books. We're going to have a book burning. We're going you and I to. together. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make our daughters watch and be like, this is what we wrought right here. Right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then we can like dance around the fire crucible style and like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Which is another book people should read. Let's talk uh, about the classics. Crucible. Uh, yes. And the movie's pretty decent too. It is decent. Please read The Crucible. Mm. If you uh. can take anything from this tonight, don't read Life and Death and go read The Crucible. You will be happy. Yeah, read any. I mean, read. I'm happy people are reading, but like, is this what we're left with? Is this it's what we're like, reduced to? It's like being happy people are reading Penthouse. Uh, it's for the articles. It's for the articles. <laughs> you know, if you're going to, okay, if you want to read a young adult series, read The Hunger Games, which was a thousand times better than Twilight, even though mm -hmm. I hated the third book with passion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, read The Hunger Games. Read the Hunger Games. I'm okay with... Yeah, it's definitely... It's written. It is. She can write. And a strong female character. Yes. Yes. And Haymitch. And Haymitch. I love Haymitch. And then see the movies, because they're very good, too. Actually, they make a good comparison to the books. And like Lenny Kravitz is in it. Exactly. Lenny's in it. And he has his pants zippered. So, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> There's the prelude to Lenny Gate. <laughs> the Lenny Gate. <laughs> all in all, it's a really long book. It's like really big. It's not worth it. I've returned it on Audible, I think, already, so I got my credit back. Audible's being stingy about returns lately. I know, but they should definitely return this one. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. Unhappy customer. But we got I to love bring like <laughs> what's that? I said, but we got to bring the audience this, this wonderful. Well, that's true. I mean, if it weren't for books like that, then we wouldn't be here. Exactly. We would just be talking about good books. I wish um, we need someone to recommend something bad to us. Please, you should tweet us, mm -hmm. comment yeah. on this post, give us a bad book, a book that you think we could have a lot of fun breaking apart or coming up with things like Adam and Eve on twilight like nobody does that but we do so please give us something bad to read we will tear it apart and give it uh some symbolic meaning that i'm sure was never intended to be there in the first place <laughs> exactly exactly so i think that's all we i mean do you have anything else to say about this great book no i have nothing yeah. i'm done i'm done with this we can shut this chapter of our lives uh. The only thing I thought was interesting was the book cover, and I'm pretty sure Stephanie Meyer had nothing to do with that. So, <laughs> I'm really sure that we this we pulled that Adam and Eve thing out of our butts, and it doesn't really that's not really anything to do with what she had in mind. But we'll go with it. Death of the author, right? Death of the author. That's what we have to do. So, um, make sure you, we're going to be writing an awesome book. So, about yes. Disney and their movies and how they're pulling from literature. So, watch for that coming yes. soon to a bookshelf near you it's gonna be great and you can say you knew us when you knew us when we were doing bad reviews <laughs> well thanks for joining us for two girls one book recommend something to us something bad and awful and just as gross and juicy as twilight apples <laughs> please 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 we need something new to read not 26 hours preferably please no keep it down to 13 <laughs> yes yes manageable okay thank you everybody good night Good night.